Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope that you had a good evening last night. It is Thursday morning, February the 4th, and a good day to be here uh, and to, to be together. Uh, some of you ask about things with my dad, and I just wanted you to know that he's been unconscious the last couple of days, and we're sort of in a holding pattern. Really appreciate all of you that are praying for us. Now, this morning, we are in Psalm 147. It says, Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain. He makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Awesome. Father, we know that it is not in our own strength that we move forward uh, in this world, but by yours. And we are grateful that you're a God that lends strength to those who need it. And I pray for all those in our church family and across our county who need strength, that God, they would find you faithful to provide it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray this today. Amen. Well, as we continue to pray over our compassion ministries, today I want us to pray for divorce care. And divorce care is a special ministry. It's about a 12 or 13 week uh, set of, uh, of, of lessons and learnings and biblical teachings uh, on how to recover from uh, pain in life and most especially divorce. And I know a lot of people who would do well to walk through these steps. Maybe you had a divorce in the last few months or maybe in a year or more ago. Uh, but whatever the case, divorce care, and that'll be coming uh, later on this spring. For now, I want to invite you to join me in praying that our church will be faithful to come alongside those who are working to, uh, to put their lives uh, back together after a divorce. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love and your ability to bring beauty from ashes uh, nobody goes into marriage hoping that there'll be a divorce on the backside or expecting that that will be their story. Uh, but there are a lot of people in our community and county uh, who um, have known this path. And God, I pray for them. That God, you would encourage them, help them to put back together the pieces of their life and to move forward with you. I pray that they would find your strength and your grace enough and sufficient. And I pray for divorce care as we uh, launch a new season of this in the coming weeks, God, that just the right people will come alongside to be a part of that ministry. Uh, to help in leadership, and also the right people will plug in, uh, not only from our church family, but all across our county. And it's in Jesus' name we pray all this. Amen. Well, you know, we started the spiritual growth campaign with this important verse from Proverbs, which says, without a vision, the people perish. Today, I want us to be reminded that there is a real downside to not seeking God's dream for our lives. If we aren't dreaming, we're dying. We waste our lives and we pursue foolish things that only cause us trouble. And just like the people perish, we perish as individuals. Because dreaming is so wired into who we are as human beings. If we aren't dreaming, we find ourselves in following somebody else's dreams. Or worse than that, Satan's intentions for our lives. In fact, this is just what the writer is saying when he says in Proverbs 14, there's a path before each person that seems right, but in the end it leads to death. The paths we choose say a lot about the dreams that we have chosen. And choosing God's dream means choosing God's path. Often dreamless lives lead to slow, incremental deaths. We come to accept dying and eventually it even begins to feel normal. Today I want you to push back. God wants you to dream, a dream that will generate light and life and the right path for your life. And may God guide you to it. Father, help us to choose the light today. Help us to choose the dream that is yours and follow the paths that will lead to it. Help us not to be distracted or to meander around on paths of our own making or others that Satan might design for us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray this today. Amen. Well, we are excited to be launching these passion groups, and you can find more about them at fbckoffman.org slash care, uh, or take a moment to talk uh, to, uh, to Eric Reynolds or uh, grab a hold uh, of anybody on our staff. We'd be happy to point you in the right direction. If you need to be involved in divorce care or grief share, any of our compassion ministries, or would like to help, or would just like more information for a friend, please get it. Uh, take time to make a note right now to deal with what it is God might have laid on your heart today. This morning, uh, we're going to hear from Hillsong, uh, an old favorite, Oceans. I hope that it is a blessing to you and a good morning, a good beginning to your morning. Love you guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.